Hey everyone, Prof G here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do two different techniques to evacuate a subungual hematoma. So stick with me and I'll show you step by step how to get this done. As a PA in the emergency department, we see some mongol hematomas come through the door pretty frequently. People accidentally slam their finger in car doors, they accidentally drop weights on their toes, and blood accumulates underneath the nail bed. And when we have this come in, there are several different techniques we can take to evacuate that blood and help our patients feel better. Before we get into the techniques, I do want to show you what materials you're going to be needing. All right, so the materials we're going to be needing to perform our nail trephination are going to be uh, some non-sterile gloves, a, our little uh, fake subungal hematoma that we made in the previous video. Be sure to check that one out first. Uh, we'll need an 18 gauge needle for one of the techniques, uh, something to cleanse the skin, uh, and a trephination pen. And this is uh, called a cautery pen and I will uh, put the link in the description below so that you can get one to practice. So that's all we need, and we can go ahead and get started with the procedure. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put on our non-sterile gloves. Okay. The first technique that I'm gonna show you is utilizing the electrocautery pen. Uh, so we'll keep our 18 gauge here to the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some sort of cleaning solution. It can be betadine, chloroprep, alcohol, um, and clean the top of the nail. Okay. Now, after I'm done cleaning the top of the nail, I want to use some normal saline to wash off any of that because we're going to be using a hot uh, cautery pen and we don't want to cause a combustion on the nail. We don't want to use alcohol or anything that's flammable. Uh, because when this, this heat pen touches it, we could cause a, a fire, a flame, and that wouldn't be good for our patients. Um, so once we have the skin nice and cleansed, uh, this procedure, we're not actually going to go through the nail all the way and touch the nail bed. We should definitely try not to do that. And because of this, you don't necessarily have to put a digital block in. If your patient is really uncomfortable and you plan on doing anything else, uh, then you might want to put one. Um, make sure that when you examine the nail bed that, that there are no lacerations that require repairing. If you're concerned that the patient does have a laceration of the nail bed that needs to be repaired, you're going to have to um, remove the nail and explore that further. So this is just for a simple subungual hematoma. All right, so I'm going to take the uh, lid off my cautery pen. You'll see that the, this cautery pen has a little button to push. I'm going to go ahead and prep it and make sure that it's working. I can see my cautery pen is flaming and the tip is turning red. Okay, that's how I know that my cautery pen is working properly. So I'm going to have the patient brace the toe. I'm going to um, brace myself as well. I'm going to turn on my cautery pen and I'm going to touch the, the tip of the nail just gently. You'll hear a little sizzle. And once you go through that, you should see the drainage of some of the subungual hematoma, which I can see here. As soon as you go through that layer of nail, you will see the blood start coming out. And that's when you stop. You can also kind of milk it a little bit. You don't want to go any deeper than that because then you'll touch the sensitive nail bed and that would be not a good thing for your patient. They would definitely feel that and it would be uncomfortable. I just wanted to show you uh, the skin or the nail and the little bit of blood that we got out of that nail. Okay, you can see that there. All right, now that we did that, we're going to proceed with the second um, technique to evacuating a subungual hematoma, and that is using an 18 gauge needle. So I've already prepped the nail with, with any solution that I'm gonna be using. And I would take my 18 gauge needle and basically what I'm going to do is go back and forth in a circular pattern and this will gently kind of bore a hole in the in the nail. You want to do it gently. Um, just keep kind of going back and forth gentle until you feel a little bit of a give and you see some of that blood start coming out. There, I'm through. And once you get through, you'll see the blood start to, to come out. 
and that's how you know that you are in the correct space. Uh, and usually these um, subamohematomas are under quite a bit of pressure. Um, so you'll see the, the blood just start to come out like that. And that's how you know that you're in the correct space. So here's the two nail trepanations that I did. Um, one with the 18 gauge and one with the cautery pen. Uh, with these little milk caps, you can practice several times um, getting that, that effect that you desired to get that um, blood out from under the nail. So uh, that's it for this procedure. It's really simple, um, a nice demo, a nice replication of, of a nail trepanation so you can practice at home. Of course, it's not exactly like the real thing, but once you've practiced this a few times, practice your technique. When you get in to do a, a real one with your patient, you'll be a lot more confident. So if you like this video, make sure to check out some of my other videos about uh, procedures and equipment and all sorts of other things medical related. Um, thank you for watching.